Ciao, Choro Q lovers. So this is my very first brand new in package uh, Choro Q. All the previous ones I purchased, some of them were new, but they're new old stock, you know, things that are out of print. This one I think was only released, uh, you know, a few months ago or maybe late last year. So I go bought it online here. It says here Mira SV and it's number Z73. So I guess there's 73 prior zero collections. And someone was nice enough to comment that the zero means it's an upgraded version of the Choro Qs. And so let's take a look at it here. I've never seen the back of this thing. There's no copyright date. It just says copyright Tomy, but that's not really helpful, right? It would be nice to know when this thing was made. So 10 years from now, well, people will know if it's a good model or not, or you know what things happened back in this period. There's actually a hologram here from Lambo, so it's fully licensed. Uh, yeah, Chorokus are definitely not a good economic value, I would say. Uh, they they cost they cost more than nice premium 164 scale models. So just be mindful of that. Some of the used ones you can get pretty cheap, but uh, these new ones, inflation, I guess. All right, so this one actually has separate mirrors you can put on. Which I will have to do actually. A little uh, set of instructions if you don't know how to put a peg into a hole, which uh, maybe I don't know how. But all right, let's take a closer look here. I'm not gonna really talk about the car. I've talked about a Miura in my real scale reviews by Kyosho. All right, so this is what a new tire looks like. The old ones I get, you very often have a, like a white film and you can just wipe it off, but that looks pretty nice. And the durometer here, it seems to be about the same, uh, yeah, hardness. It's not a very soft rubber. So the wheels here, they're molded pretty nice for a cartoon car. I mean, there's a lot of details going on here. In fact, like this wheel's better than a lot of premium branded True Scale 64 models. All right. And then it's nice to see this gold paint here, and then silver paint for the window trim. Go around to the front here. Yeah, some uh, paint in the turn signals, and then also this texture. Sorry, I missed focus. Come on, there we go. Now, let's see if the Lambo badge is any good. No indication of text, but the bowl isn't bad. Not bad. The headlights are just painted silver. And then you have some black paint in the, uh, those ribs there looks pretty good. Silver paint on the windshield. The wiper blades are just silver painted graphics. I don't know what that, well, let's look through the bottom. Yeah, the windshield is actually clear plastic. It's just it's so heavily smoked that it looks like black paint. But it actually is translucent. This side's the same. No, oh, tiny little... Is that a bump or a contaminant? No, that's a purposeful bump. Maybe... Uh, I think there's a reflector there on the real car. What about the bottom here? Well, no, this is odd. There's no copyright down here. Uh, all the old ones I have, they print on, you know, uh, a year. But this is a production code thing. So... But it's probably just for the month. Oh, no, here we go. So this was made in uh, the sixth month of 2021, I have to imagine. That's what the 2-1 there is. All right. Or, well, that's why I'm a guessing. All right, so there's a screw holding the front. And then there's a tab, a hook tab here for the rear. And, uh... Interesting. Okay, a little silver paint for both of these exhaust tips. They're attached to the base. And then the back here, we know what uh, number it is, what the car is. And then the painted taillights look pretty good. Painted black texture there. Black paint on the louvers is well done. Yeah, so this the overall quality of this model is pretty fantastic. I don't see any paint overruns. The plastic body has no scratches or like weird extra plastic flashing that you very often get with plastic in general, no matter what the product is. So the quality control is very tight here from a 
Shoro Q or Takara Tomi, whoever makes this. It's, it's listed as a Tomi Tech, which is part of the Takara Tomi family. And they're the guys that make TLVs. So, yeah, very good quality. Alright, now the question is I don't see any peg holes for these mirrors, right? There's no hole there. So, very similar to TLV models. You gotta just glue this on and hope that you glue it in the right spot. So I don't think I will glue this on. If it had a peg hole, I would do it. But uh, gluing plastic on plastic, I have a feeling it's still gonna break off if I accidentally hit the mirror. And then it'll just leave a nasty mark, right? So, well, that's, that's too bad. So that extra part's not gonna really help me out because uh, I know that I'm just gonna break it off whenever I pull this out for a different comparison. Ah, uh, boy. I just pull up these, you know, just to show up the color scheme, but at least from the front view, it kind of looks like an S Amira. Although, no, the windscreen's too tall. But also, the side view is a really funny comparison because you can. Sorry, this thing's really. It's so short, it just rolls off my fingers. But I like doing this view because you can really see how much they foreshortened the entire length of the vehicle. Yeah, it's very funny looking. Eh, what the heck, let's just take a look in the back while we're at it. At least the color of the taillights order is correct. It's orange, then it's red, and then it's white. And then that texture in the rear is there, and then the, the two exhaust tips. Let's see, okay. So it's a very good job. Very good. Uh, boy, let's get the coaster out and compare it to their 64 scale counterparts. So I have two Kyoshos for the real ones. And the first one is just a regular P400. And so the difference you might ask is, it's basically the eyelashes to my understanding. This green one now is the actual P400 SV. So one way to tell the two apart is the blue car has like, like these ribs in you know, the headlights, whereas the green car just has a black smooth surface. But the SV also seems to have like flared out rear fenders compared to the normal uh, Miura. I think that yeah, the rear end's a little bit different too. So let's take a look as it spins around. Yeah, so they're a little bit different, a little bumperettes on the the blue car, just the plain one. All right. Well, so there you get an idea. At least compared to normal scaled vehicles. But I, I still like these Choro Qs. I'm, I'm happy I got this. It's uh, <laughs> it's just funny looking, you know? It's, it makes me laugh, so I, I find that worth worthwhile. So I'm going to get some more, that's for sure. All right, so if you like Choro Qs, uh, maybe leave a comment or something. All right, I'll see you around. Thanks.